Hi, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Tame Mystical Mermaid Light. We are going to do a pick a card reading today that is about what does a person on your mind think about you. Now, keep in mind, this can be platonic, romantic. This is about anyone who is on your mind. So, I'm going to try to keep it general to a certain extent. I don't know how to explain this. Like, I'm going to have to keep it kind of general because like, you never know who someone is asking about, okay? I am going to do a separate reading that's strictly romantic, um, but you never know what could come out of this. This could be platonic, romantic, whatever. But I will do one that's just based on romance as well. So we're going to see what comes out of this, okay? So I want to let you guys know that I am open for personal readings. Please feel free to email me at mysticalmermaidlight at gmail.com. I am open currently for readings. Also, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It would greatly help your girl out, okay? Um, let's get started. Option one, we have this little seashell here. Seashell charm. Option two, we have the two dolphins jumping over this crystal ball that spins. I used, I used to like to spin this. <laughs> And then option three, we have the koi fish charm. So they're all charms, okay? So option one, option two, option three, I do apologize about my nails, you guys. As most of you guys know, um, gel nails started breaking my nails and possibly due to some health issues that I'm currently dealing with. My nails have been breaking in half, so I've been giving my nails a break from gel nails and they look terrible you guys it's been years since i've used regular nail polish and honey i'm not used to all the chipping but anyways <laughs> that doesn't matter but i just wanted to let you guys know don't bully me don't come for me for my nails okay anyways let's get started option one two three four there you go we have a seashell let's see what is this person on your mind think of you right now ironically as soon as i pull the deck we have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck so wise i just heard wise fruit of wisdom mm, we have the moon trying to come out as well this person thinks that you hold some type of deeper knowledge or deep intuition deeper insight ultra feminine they feel that you're wise This is going to be a quick one, you guys. I felt called to say that to you guys. I'm not going to um, draw this out. You know, I usually do long readings, but I feel like this needs to be quick and to the point. I feel like this person feels that you're very, very well informed, or you will be soon. Let's see what's going on. How does this person feel and think about option one? right now look at that came right back out the moon and it was just sitting up here like that like the moon this is interesting i feel like they may think that you're hiding something as well this is interesting something you know that's what i'm hearing you know something that i don't that's what i just heard you know something that i don't yep the judgment card you know something that i don't Wow. Okay. Let's see what else. Person may feel that you've gone through some type of rebirth um, that's left you more empowered, but also a bit more mysterious. They feel that you've taken your responsibilities and you've dealt with them. Like you've gone through a lot. You, you may have even gone through like a, a rebirth, but they feel like you came out stronger and renewed. It, some of you guys may have actually changed something about yourself, like maybe your hairstyle. Um, they, I don't know why I'm hearing this. This could be for like a couple of people. Maybe you wear contacts, you change contacts or you change your hair color a lot. But um, I'm getting this person is thinking there's something new and different about you, but it's in a good way. It's like you've evolved into something more powerful more stronger more bolder like you're becoming more authentically you like you're really being more authentic so this person sees you 
as this new, like a new version of yourself that's wiser, stronger, but a bit more mysterious. And now we have the Knight of Cups here. I'm hearing following your heart, like you're living more in your authenticity, you're living more from your truth, you're living more from your heart. This person could see you as being in your own world, wanting to kind of stay in your own world for some reason. Five of Wands is conflict. So they may feel that you're making a judgment call over some type of conflict. Or there was a judgment made over something that was conflicting you. This could be in regards to love, relationships, but you there's a cycle that has end it so one can begin and there's there's thinking that you've made a final judgment on something okay this person wants to offer you some type of truthful honest feeling emotion this doesn't have to be romantic but it also could be romantic keep in mind this is for anyone who's on your mind um this person wants to reach out and this reach out would be very um it would have to do with the emotions, the heart space. So, let's see. How does this person feel, think about you? Oh, I need one card. They're not sure if you would be receptive to what they have to say to you. Or it could even be that they feel like you don't need you don't need their advice, opinion, or what, they're, what they would have to say to you. It's almost like... Why, I'm hearing, why would they need me to say that to them? Or why would they need that? They're already okay. And then we have the two of wands here. But what's interesting about this two of wands is she's looking forward, but I keep looking at her tennis shoes. So for some reason, I feel like this person may like your style. They may think that you dress nice, like you can pull yourself together quite well, even when you're going through things. That's what I'm getting like. You you pull yourself together quite well. They see you looking towards the future, looking towards a new beginning. Like you're passionately moving towards something creative. They see you as being creative. They're thinking that you have this creative outlook on life. Maybe you have an outlook on life that's a bit different from others. Like you have some type of gift or ability that's different from others. Maybe even a talent. Um, but they see that you get little, I don't know if they would call it this word for word, but it's almost like they know you get divinely guided ideas and inspiration. Like you get downloads of something and you move towards these things. So it's like they feel that you're divinely guided and that your moves are divinely guided. So whatever you do, it's like you've prayed over or you've you prayed over it or you've meditated over it. Like it's something that you felt called to do. This person sees you as having the world in your hands like there's only positive things that's going to be happening for you in your life they feel that you're on the road to some type of success if anything that was stopping you would have been yourself being stuck in your own head is what i just heard but i think there's one aspect of this reading that is vague this person wants you to open up more they feel like there's something that you're hiding like, or maybe they just feel left out. Like there's secrecy or some type of mystery when it comes to you. Will of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. I just heard you will things into existence. You see how her hands are kind of hovering here and you have this, like this time. It's this fortune energy, like karma, like you're weaving karma. So they could feel that some type of karma is playing out in your life. Like you like you bring in good karma for yourself. And now this good karma is coming into your life because of something you've done or something you are doing. And I keep getting a visual of the state, like a sacred, um, sacred geometry. I'm getting like al al alchemical symbols. So this person may even see you as like an earth angel or someone who works with higher, higher forces, spiritual forces. Like maybe you believe in more in spirituality than religion um they may see you as someone who works with angels archangels works with the moon cycles but i'm also seeing the sacred beetle in ancient egypt um so that could represent fertility and protection they may see you as being very um creative fertile abundant in energy but also divinely protected i'm also seeing um i'm guessing like anubis it's making me think of anubis um, so maybe there's some type of connection with ancient Egypt or maybe they think you like ancient Egypt or 
historical facts, historical documents, like you like to learn about maybe um, old historical texts. There's something about that. Maybe they've felt called to read something that you've um, mentioned before, whether directly towards them or something they overheard you talking about. Um, this person thinks your skin is glowing. Like there's something very, like you're glowing. They think you're glowing. They think you're fortunate. But I'm seeing Anubis and Anubis represents, in my opinion, death and rebirth. So, but also the judgment card is here, which is like, my, in my opinion, like the book of Revelations, which has to do with like this. And I'm hearing the book of the dead. That's interesting. Maybe this person feels like you believe in past lives. For some of you, this person may feel like they've had a past life with you or that you're just into things like this. Um, mysteries of the unknown, like historical mysteries, spiritual mysteries. But this person may feel like there's something with the dead. Maybe you guys, um, yeah, like a rebirth. Maybe, I don't know why I just heard um, someone say they like to go and walk in in cemeteries or maybe they spend time in cemeteries. So they, this person could be a little, a little nervous about you or nervous about your um, practices, but interested all at the same time. It doesn't mean that you actually do this. They just feel like, what if they do this? Like you may speak to the dead or you may be the type that speaks to beings that aren't in the physical realm or are not easily seen in the physical realm. This person is highly intuitive and spiritually gifted and aware, or at least you're into things like this. So you might be into learning about mediumship abilities or you might have these abilities or you might be into watching shows that have to do talk about things like this so this person who you're asking about they see you as this mystery okay this mystery that makes them wonder about life's mysteries like this person's deep is what I'm hearing like they're deep and I makes me wonder what all is really real and you know what if these things that we thought were you know, just a storybook tale or a fantasy. What if these things were real? And what if this person, their outlook on life, what if it's, what if this is key? You know, maybe they're onto something is what I'm hearing. So they see us very creative, but this creative ability that you get, these downloads, even your glow, it's like they feel that you're getting it from another source, a higher power that they're trying to figure out how to tap into themselves. So that's what I have for that one. Let's see if we can get some charms. Whoa. Okay, what do we have here that came out? A zero. We have a moon again, a seashell. Yeah, this person, the water is, it's like the moon going deep in the water. It's like it's the same energy. You have a crescent moon and a seashell here with the moon card, ultra feminine. But very mysterious. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. You could give mermaid vibes or siren vibes. Some type of goddess. Like you seem like you're into to, to things like this. Let's see. Angels. Tree. So they may see as someone who connects with their ancestors. We have a, a we keep having like circles. So we have the zero, we have an O. We have a, um, oh my God, is this a sleigh? Like the little uh, carriage, like a sleigh that Santa would put his toys in. <laughs> so they see you as someone who's moving something along, creating something. What is this? Triangle, so fire symbol is what I'm getting for some reason. Fire symbol. We have handcuffs. This person may feel connected to you in some type of way or they may feel like maybe you're attached to something they may feel that you've locked into something like you're you have the you have an outlook on something that you're not letting go of um but we have feathers here we keep having these you have feathers here in this car and you have a wing here so definitely angelic an angelic presence they may feel that you're very angelic like there's something about you that's unreal that isn't real, which makes them think, man, this person might be onto something because there's something about them that's ethereal. So I'm getting ethereal. It's also making me think of, um, there's an artist, her name is Quinn. She has a album, I don't know if it's called Seventh Heaven, but she has a song on there that's called Seventh Heaven and also a song that's called Lucid. And it's making me think of that kind of energy. Like you're just this kind of person that's in between realms or 
you're interested in things like this. So take it how it resonates. What do we have here? Yeah, we have this. Once again, it's like cup half full or half, half empty. Your perspective makes such a huge difference. We have a turtle. So they may see you as someone who's slow moving and then all of a sudden you get straight to in, into things because you have this lower energy here and then we go straight into the wands. So I feel like it's it may st st start slow for you to get things off the ground, but once they're off the ground, they're fast moving. It's like there's nothing that stops you. Highly en en enlightened. So they see you as an enlight an enlightened being. How do I say this? You're, you have some type of divine enlightenment about you. You know things that others should know. It, it's weird. Like, you know things that others would want to know. Yeah, that third eye is super open, you guys. Like, you can see beyond someone's BS. That might scare them about you. You have C. What is this? This is a... A frog. So, we have a frog. We have a turtle. Those are two reptilian creatures that can live on Earth and in water. So once again, living in two different, like you're in the in-between. You have on earth and on water. Like you can be in two places. You can survive in two places. So they may see you as someone who kind of is adaptable, flexible, but also transformative because think about the, the frog's life cycles, but also something that's long lasting like the turtle, but in between worlds. So let's see what else. We have a carnelian, creative energy. They're getting a very creative energy from, from you guys. For some of you where you, you are asking about a, a romantic partner, this person could be very um, attracted to you, if you know what I mean. I'm getting sacral chakra, root chakra. This person, you could be amused to them. Like You could really make them want to create and connect more spiritually, but they are feeling some passion, some fire and desire for you. And I did hear fire and desire. Um... Yeah, and I'm hearing that Miguel's song, Love You Like a Brother, Treat You Like a Friend. This love is a short thing. I'm getting that. But for those of you who this where this is platonic, this person who you're thinking about, you make them, you're still like an, you're inspirational to them. It's like, you know what? I think I'm going to create this for myself. Or I think I'm going to change this for myself. Or I think I'm going to do deeper research to see what I believe in, you know? So you're sparking some type of inspiration within people. Yeah, you have this huge butterfly, huge transformation that you've gone through in the midst of chaos. You are coming out as a star, and I have the big star and the big butterfly. So it's like you're transforming into a star, and I'm hearing the sun, the moon, and the, and the stars can't shine without darkness. It's like you've maybe you've gone through some type of darkness some type of unknown energy and you've come out like you've you're the phoenix you've been reborn Let's see what else more ancestry you have the same family tree this person may could be a family member to you but they don't have to be this person could also just feel like they would want to connect family trees with you maybe this person if it's platonic they may want to spend time with your family or have you spend time with their family like you know you guys spend time with each other's families or connect more as a family. Maybe even um, you feel like soul family. You feel like good people. I just heard good people um, that they could have in their life for a long amount of time. And if this is more romantic, this person may want to combine families or start a family with you. We have the Fleur de Lis. The Fleur de Lis represents France, but also represents um, Louisiana, um, that French, you know, touch. I don't know why I just said like the French touch. But anyways, I'm also getting nails. Interesting. Airbrush. I don't know why I just heard that. But the Florida de Lis is also a symbol of Joan of Arc. She was a prophetic, um, I, I kind of want to say teacher for some reason, but she was a, pro a, a prophet. And she was crucified for her visions and her, or her, her downloads. But she helped win a war. And she was contacted by Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel. Now, Archangel Gabriel is a messenger of God, which is interesting that we have this judgment card here. I strongly feel that you guys have a connection with angels. We have the angel wing here, the Florida Lee, and the judgment card. 
strongly making me feel that you have some type of strong communication connection with Archangel Gabriel, or you could. So, communications, the arts, music, um, anything with with us. Uh, I just heard spoken word, music, um, writing, directing, film, you know, painting, drawing, anything within communications and the and the arts and music that you know these things kind of connect slowly but surely they start to connect to each other i feel like they, this person feels like this is who you are like you're supposed to be doing things that are creative you're supposed to get your voice heard is what i'm hearing like your voice is supposed to be heard we have a dragonfly so dragonflies are, are very interesting creatures like their colors like they, they're so beautiful so we have a butterfly, we have a dragonfly, we have angel wings. We have some interesting energy here, you guys. Metallic, I keep hearing metallic gold. See you as something that's unreal. We have WCO. WCOCW. That's a, that's a channel right there. This person may think you will in channel 5 CW. Um, this person may feel that you belong on on the screen. Like maybe they feel that you you should be acting or that your work should be on the television. Maybe you're writing or you, you sh maybe you're a creative director. They feel like you should be a creative director. This could also be a message from your angels telling you, hey, you should get into the arts. Don't be afraid to jump into the arts. No matter what's going on in the world right now, you should follow your dreams because door doorways can open for you. Doors can open for you. No matter what the outside circumstances look like, you need to believe. Um, so I'm kind of getting that. But they could also want to recommend a show for you. Maybe there's a show that reminds them of you. I'm specifically hearing the show Manifest. I haven't seen it yet, but everyone talks about it. And this card is making me think of Manifest, and I haven't even seen it. And this one, too. So you know what's hidden. You know that there's deeper things going on here so let me get a number for you and then I want you guys to ask a question we're gonna get a yes or no three okay we have three ask a yes or no question it's yes okay so that's what I have for you guys I know that was like kind of short and sweet um not really i thought it was gonna be shorter but <laughs> i hope it helps you guys um this person just they feel that you're a mystery and they want to know more they want to have the inside scoop you know like you're like you're someone in a magazine they want the inside scoop on you okay so that's what we have they want you to come out of your shell and they want to know what's going on what's going on I'm your Marvin Gaye. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. So that is what I'm getting for you guys, okay? If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. If you like a personal reading like one of these, please feel free to email me at mysticalmermaidlight at gmail.com. I love you guys. Have a good one. Option two. Option two, you have the beautiful double dolphin over a crystal ball energy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Like, you have these beautiful two dolphins jumping over a crystal ball, a magical ball. I just heard magic spell, just heard magic potion nine. Is that a song or a movie? I feel called to mention that. Okay, anyways. Holy Spirit, how does option two's person? Oh, person. Did you hear that? Uh oh, for some of you, it's your person someone that you were interested in someone that you like or maybe you're someone you actually have a commitment with commitment commitment or no commitment this is someone who's who's interested in you that you are interested in because i said you're a person and this isn't even supposed to be a romantic reading so for a lot of you this is someone who has romantic feelings for you but we'll see what does this person which could be anyone what is this person that's on your mind think of you? Okay. They told me to take both. Two of Pentacles. Wow. Ten of 
Ten of Wands. They see you as holding a lot, carrying a lot, like you're juggling a lot. You're 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 doing a lot, and I'm here. You're doing it on your own. It's like you're a jack, maybe a jack of all trades, or you just have a lot of hats you're wearing. You you have a lot of things that you're doing on your own. You may have a lot of responsibilities. It's first on your mind. What I think of of you right now? Yeah, maybe they feel like financially you're kind of going through it, um, maybe going through hard times or just trying to figure out how to balance and juggle things financially. Like, let's be honest, you guys, there's been a huge fluctuation in the States. There's been a lot going on in the States and people have gone up on their prices. Everything has gone like higher. So most, I'm going to be honest, most people that I know are going through it, even people who are well-to-do. So it's just this person could feel like you're doing a lot on your own some of you may have multiple jobs um who i can resonate with that one you guys um some of you may have maybe even children or maybe you feel like you're just doing a lot you don't even have to have kids but it's just like you you're you could even be helping other people like i just heard good samaritan they they think that you're a good samaritan that you're you could even possibly be helping others when you need to say more your, your energy to just to keep to yourself now um for some of you this person could also think that you're dealing with some health issues um like maybe stress mental health issues or maybe some type of physical health issues they feel that you're struggling with something and um they it's like they they see you trying to balance things out and, and trying to hold everything um they may think that you feel alone this person may see you as just ultimate like this person who's very independent like you scream i-n-d-e-p-e-n-d-e-n-t -E -E do you know what that means like you scream independent maybe um i'm hearing maybe she'll let someone in maybe she'll allow people to help you so this person may feel that you're good at helping others giving to others but when it comes to yourself it's like you would rather struggle than to ask for assistance or a struggle that rather than to let your family or friends in to help you or to be there for you like you're the type that has to get things done on your own um so this is very interesting they may see you as a stubborn person they may also see you as someone who feels abandoned or left out in some type of way possibly by family members or possibly by um a parent or a partner Three of Pentacles here. Yeah, you guys go from the two to the three of Pentacles. They see you as a hard worker um, and that you're going to be acknowledged for your work at some point. They, they, they feel that your good deeds are going to pay off in the long run. But they did definitely think that you're a busy bee, that you're really doing a lot. They think that you're a busy bee. Yeah, let's see what else. But that you're putting in the work, you know. Now, this person also thinks that you need to rest more. They think that you could really use a good night's um, sleep because you've been really building. Now, the, for some of you, this could be someone that you work with or someone that wants to work with you. They also think that you have um, some type of elder that's helping you or that wants to help you or is helping you even on the in the higher realms. They may have um, viewed you as, um, they may think that, well, I heard view, wow. They may think of you as someone who had a close connection with a grandparent or a certain parent. This person thinks that you need rest. They think that'll do you good to rest. Um, especially if you guys work a lot or if you've had some type of illness. Um, this person feels like you're burning like you're you're burning is it the bridge at both ends or what is it? the candle at both ends why well, i say bridge at both ends interesting this person basically thinks that you're gonna need to slow down or your body's gonna make you slow down or it already has so i don't know why i just heard this but um i heard your voice is like honey so that this person likes the sound of your voice maybe some of you sing or rap or just maybe you um maybe some of you guys talk a lot or speak a lot on a platform or i'm also hearing when you when this person speaks up it's beautiful 
So they may want you to voice something. They may just want you to, whoa, I got cards flying out. King of Wands, this person thinks that you need to let, let someone in. That That's interesting. They Ten of Pentacles is what flew out with that card. Yeah, Two of Cups is at the bottom. This is interesting. So this person may think that you you need assistance or you need guidance or help like you need community you need friendship you need a partner like this person thinks that you've been alone for too long or maybe you that you simply just don't deserve to be alone handling everything on your own i don't this is interesting this is this is someone thinking that okay I'm going to give you guys a perfect example. Now, take this how it resonates, okay? If it doesn't resonate, it may not be for you. This one portion of the reading or just just bear with me. I'm getting that for some of you, which I'm getting is probably more than 50%. This person that's thinking about you thinks that you are one of those people that are independent single does everything on their own struggles on their own maybe even goes through bouts of illness or depression on their own like you're very you're very secure and solid on your own even if it's even if it becomes too much it's like you're still willing to try to figure out how to do it on your own um i just heard detritude interesting i don't use that word but this person feels that you would just you would just rather suffer alone like you before you would ask anyone for help or before you would ask them for help interesting so this person feels like you need to let people in um they, they could also feel that you need to open yourself up to dating to meeting someone um this person may feel that you need to learn how to work with other people like you may need to learn how to balance work life and social life and i just heard because who wants to be alone so for some of you this almost feels like someone who's looking out for you who's like this person works so hard they do everything on their own they need they need a companion they need a, a partner. They deserve a partner. So this person could be thinking that. Now, on the other hand, you have someone who wants to be that partner. Like, you should let me in. I'm here. You should let me love you, Mario. Yeah, so for some of you where it's the other half, where it's, where it's like, let me in. Allow me to come in and we could, we could create this family is what I'm hearing. So for some of you, this person thinks that you and them will create a great family um like a well-balanced family and they find peace and comfort in knowing that you can hold your own weight and that you guys could both bring your energy and resources together to create some type of legacy so i don't know why i just heard carry your own weight maybe this person dealt with freeloaders like in the past um i feel like this person is it a bit more stable than you are or maybe a lot more stable but this person is stable because they've used their gifts and abilities to bring things into life you know it's like they've used their talents to bring them resources or their skills or knowledge to bring them some type of success so this person would be deemed as successful who's thinking about you so the person that you asked about if they don't sound like someone who's doing something that they um like or love then this is probably not your pal because i feel like this king of wands energy whether masculine or feminine energy is showing up in your reading as someone who they're they're thinking to themselves i would you should ask me for help like i could help you or i let me into your life so that i can help you so this person just they want to be more involved. Whoa, I just heard Raphael Sadiq get involved. Yeah, I just heard um, some of the song, but I don't know the words to it. 
I just heard it. Let's get involved. That's all I just heard. So they want to get involved. It's the S A double A I Q. Wait, wait, wait. S A double. Woo! Hold on, you guys. That's it. Okay, you guys, for some of you, this person wants to help you build something. Um, create. Sorry, I just kind of got instruct, um, ooh, instructed. Wow. Interrupted with a different thought. So this person may want to help you financially, but they may feel like you're not the type to accept a gift or an offer. So the way they're going to present this is that as they want to work with you. Um, they want to kind of create something they may have already wanted to do this um with you or thought about doing this with you but even more so now um they just see you caring a lot and they want to see if they can kind of i just hear weasel their way in to help you so it's not even a creepy way they just don't feel like you're the type to just be open to receiving help from just anyone or just in general like they feel that you want to kind of Work on things by yourself. Do things on your own. So I definitely feel like this person wants to gift you something, wants to help, but they don't think that you would take it. They may still gift you something. It may be anonymous or they may um, they may present it in a way where it doesn't feel like they're just giving you something. So keep that in mind. This person wants to build something with you, create something with you. Now that's, that storyline is definitely for those of you this could be romantic or borderline like you could wonder now family and friends they want they don't want you to be alone it's as simple as that they want you to have help and support they want to help and support you but i strongly get that a lot of you if this is a family member or friend they want to they want you to meet someone especially like a king of wands figure they want you to be happy. I just heard that. Like I, I'm hearing. I want to make sure you're happy. I want to make sure you, you're you're safe. I'm hearing this person um say they are too gifted to, they're too creative to not be doing something with their like their passion. So I don't know if some of you, um aren't, aren't working in your desired field or I mean most people aren't, but. This person sees you as, man, you can have so much better. You can do so much better. Like, don't settle. But also, you need to take care of yourself and rest. Now, back to the more romantic portion. I strongly feel that for a lot of you, this person could see you two coming together and creating a legacy family. The whole shebang. There's a children here, and there's a little girl here. So, you have an old man. So, this person may want to definitely um start a family with you um they could definitely want to start a family with you build a legacy with you work on build some type of business with you um they want to invest in you it's that simple they want to invest in you they see you as someone who's a hard worker they see you as someone who really puts in the work and relationships and you know your business or whatever you do for work they just see you as someone who really puts in effort and time and care into things. So they want to come in and get involved with you. It's that simple. Um, a lot of you, this person sees you as marriage potential. Like two of cups, they could have had a vision or a daydream about marrying you or being in a very long-term committed relationship with you with the family and the and the dogs and cats and the future grandchildren and you guys graying together getting old together so this is this screams a legacy and this person's thinking about that back to the other half of you it's giving strong family energy you make this person feel like they are a part of a community that they aren't alone you make this person um less alone in the world maybe this person sees some of your struggles as similar struggles that they have but either way they they feel that you need to connect more and open up more and let people in 
and around you know in your life and encircle you and be around you so they they see you as also being family oriented but when you're going through something maybe you isolate yourselves from others they think that i don't know how they would think this so this is kind of interesting i, I want to say they think because this is the reading but i'm also hearing how could someone well I'm hearing this portion of it. Them, they're connecting with their ancestors in their sleep. They're working with their ancestors. They're working with family. They're working with soul tribe. They're working with their ancestors in their sleep. But I'm like, how would this person know? So that's where my question comes in. Like, how would they know that about you unless you shared it or unless they are spiritually gifted? Something is interesting here. We have the five of pentacles and then we have the ten of pentacles so definitely growth this person thinks that if you're down right now or if you're dealing with financial issues or if you're ill they don't feel like it will be like that for long I feel like this is just a little bump in the road a little a little setback for a major comeback i'm hearing um kendrick lamar i think he says minor setback for a major comeback or something like that so dedication um nipsey hustle and kendrick lamar that song is important they feel that you're dedicated to a cause you're dedicated you're dedicated to what you put your sight on your attention on you you can stick to it and like i said the person you guys are thinking about whether romantic or platonic whether familial or not they want to partner up with you Okay, they want to work with you. They want to create with you. They want to come together because they feel like you both will be more, more successful together than apart. At least assisting each other, supporting each other. So you guys keep that in mind. I'm also hearing the song come together by the Beatles. So yeah, that is what I got there. Now let's look at what we can get with the charms, you guys. Let's see what's going on here. We have a snowflake and we have a cross. Faith, hope. That's what I just heard. Having faith, having hope. On better days. Something could also be happening in the winter. Because I just got a vision. Um, I don't know why I just saw this. But um, obviously, I keep saying I don't know why. I don't know why. I just heard I don't know why I didn't come. Okay, we have Nora Jones, her song, I Don't Know Why I Didn't Come. And I keep hearing her say, left you by the house of fun. Whoa, for some of you, this is somebody that left you out in the cold. Very few of you. This is someone who's left you out in the cold before or has at least made you feel alone. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's that. For someone out there, this person could be afraid that you'll leave them at the altar or that you'll um, abandon the, the engagement or, yeah, just her prenuptials. I also heard for some of you, your um, person thinks that, once again, you be the ultimate marital partner, business partner. If they weren't into marriage before the the idea or concept of marriage, they are now, and it's because of you. And I just heard it's all because of you, Neo. So this person, um, they think that you need to have more faith in yourself, believe in yourself more. What do we have here? An angel. See, an angel, guardian angel. I definitely think this person could possibly think that you're an angel sent i just heard walked out right out of heaven jagged edge there he goes sent from above so i just heard halo by beyonce but this person could think that you have a guardian angel a passed on loved one possibly a grandparent or a parent so yeah this person definitely feels like you're connected like maybe you believe in god or maybe you Believe in angels or archangels. Um, for some of you, that'll resonate. For some of you, won't. 
Yeah, for some of you, this person may want to go to church with you. I just heard that. Or um, they may want to invite you to church. Okay, let's see what else. We have, what stone is this? I don't even know what stone this is, you guys. Can someone comment below and tell us what is stone number two? And we have handcuffs. That keeps coming up. This came out of option one. So this person may feel like you're you're lock, you're tied to something or that you're stuck to something. Now, for some of you, no, only a few of you, this person may think that you were you once went to jail or you were pulled over by the cops. This person could also have a fear that you'd be pulled over by the cops, especially if you're a person of color. Um yeah, this person may feel like you need to, you know, you need to connect with archangels, guardian angels to, res I just heard, restore your faith. Yeah, some of you, this person feels like you're kind of like stuck to something, chained to something, maybe even an idea or notion, like habit. 2772 is important. We have these numbers. 2772, nine, okay. Someone could be born in 1972 or be 27 or 72. Could be a special number. Yeah, it's slow moving. Something about old age here. So I don't know if this person that you're thinking about is of old age or, um, but there's something about elderly energy coming through. This could be the guardian angel that's watching over you. That's actually also helping you carry the load. They want you to know that you aren't ever alone. <laughs> You're never alone. It might actually creep you out if you knew just how, how much you were surrounded. There's balloons here and there's a family tree falling on top of the Ten of Pentacles. Is that ironic? I think not. And we also have the two dolphins, which represent the, the, the two of cups. I can't make this up. i got to show you guys this. This is crazy. They see you as healing from some type of heartbreak, man. Something that's hurt you. Maybe you guys actually, with the five pentacles and... I, I, I just, I think maybe you guys could be dealing with some heart, some heart issues or some anxiety attacks or um, depression or... It's just stress or actual health, physical health issues. Maybe even like a sore back. Um, grief. They they just they feel that you are healing from something and that you need to spend more time with your community and soul tribe. But we have the two two dolphins here with the two cups. Definitely soul mate, soul tribe, soul family, soul for, you know that soul group energy coming through. They want to connect more and, and be more communicate communicative with you, communicative with you. What is commune? This is just heard. I'm hearing like a bunch of things all at once. Like there's a lot that wants to be said. So I'm I'm also I'm also hearing this person is thinking about how they want to discuss something. It could be a thought that they had, um, or maybe even like a dream or visitation they had. Interesting. Yeah, this person thinks that um, that they want to have a party, some type of come together. Um, they think that you need to spend more time with com having like parties or going to parties, celebrating. They they think that you need to celebrate more. You need to um, yeah, I'm here, Madonna. Celebrate if we took a holiday, took some time to get away, just one day out of life, it would be. Yeah, so they, they feel that you need you need to take a holiday. You need to go on a break. You need to rest. You need to take care of yourself. Because you're spreading yourself too thin. Yeah. Someone can have a birthday coming up. Creativity. Another option to have that. Let's see. Whoa, what do we have here? A key. Yep. Creation. I just heard take the stage yeah that's interesting like be seen and be heard if you don't ask it will always be a no that's what i just heard so asking you shall receive yeah this person thinks that you need to use your gifts and abilities to bring you success 
they think that you have some type of um, ability that can bring you a lot of resources, but that you aren't taking a chance on it. Maybe out of fear that it's not stable. Now, for some of you, you could be in a, in a career where you realize, okay, this isn't stable and I am doing a lot right now, although I used to love it, but it's not bringing in enough, enough money. And some of you guys could be afraid to walk away from this because you may not feel like you're going to ever find anything else or that it's going to leave you um, with it leaving you with burdens of not having enough so that's what we're getting there it's kind of interesting <sighs> once again okay so the other option at this as well um the angel wing so we have strong angelic energies coming through the last you know the the option one and option two something with this person may stutter or may i don't know there might be a nervousness or maybe they just really have a lot to say and they're trying to figure out how to say what to say first but um yeah so you guys also have a, a angelic presence in your reading or several but one of them is definitely a guardian angel an ancestor who's passed away definitely an elderly ancestor and for some of you it could be a, a kid an ancestor that's a child um maybe they passed away young or maybe they haven't even been born here yet they're still in the spiritual realm preparing to come into this lifetime so that is what i'm getting for um you guys i'm gonna roll the dice and we're gonna see what number you get and i also want you guys to ask a question we're gonna get a yes or no three that is scary and it landed almost the same way too let's get another number three okay so three is just the magic number, which we do have the three of pentacles here. You guys are going through a huge transformation in life, okay? You're going through a huge transformation, and it's time for you to connect more with community and, and like-minded souls. Like, this is not a time for you to be alone. This is what this person's thinking. And for some reason, you guys, I just heard, and they're correct. So I feel like you do have a guardian angel here. And this person who you're asking about who's thinking. Wow, I just heard who's thinking about you. So look, the question that you guys are asking is, what does the person on your mind think of you, right? Or what do they think about you? Well, your confirmation is that they are definitely thinking about you. For sure, they are thinking about you, okay? This person, I just heard, never let you go, never let you go. Um, Florence in the machine. Someone doesn't want to let you go. That's That that holds two meanings. That, that's romantic and it's also platonic. This could be an ancestor, a family member who's saying they'll never let you go. Like, they've always got your back. I'm always here. And then... We also have the other side where it is romantic and it's a song um, coming through. I just heard you are not alone. So for some of you, you're grieving. This five pentacles represents grief. Yeah, they want you to know that you're not alone. Even if this is a passed on partner or soulmate um, or even like a dog or cat, they want you to know you're not alone. Okay, you're never alone. You're not alone. All right, so that's what I have for that portion. Let's get the charm. Let's ask the question. What question did you guys have? I'm going to spin this, and we're going to see what's going to happen. We have a yes, but I feel like I should spin again. Now we have no. Whoa, okay. Let's get that final answer. Yes or no. Tiebreaker, ask your question one more time. It's a no. Interesting. Interesting how we had a dual energy come through, huh? I just heard free will because things could change. Wow. 
You're sensing change in something. Especially if it has to do with free will. Yeah. Same, they just said everything has to do with free will. Um, it could seem like it, the result is going to be one thing. And then someone changes their mind last minute. They change their mind before they're about to do something. And it changes the whole narrative. Like free will. That's what I just heard. So that's what I have for you guys who chose option two. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. It would greatly help me out. Also, I am open for personal readings. If you are interested in getting a reading like this one, please feel free to email me at mysticalmermaidlight at gmail.com. Have a beautiful, 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 beautiful rest of your day. Option three, you have the fish, the koi fish. I just heard self-awareness, epiphany. I don't know why I also heard habitual behavior or obsessive behavior. Maybe someone has a compulsive disorder or anxiety disorder. Someone could also have ADD or ADHD. I don't know why I'm, I'm getting this. Maybe something in mental health. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Or psychology or health in general. Let's see. Holy Spirit. What is option three, the person they're thinking about? What it, what are they thinking of them? What is the, how does the person feel and think about option three, the person who they have on their mind? What are they thinking? Four of Wands, stability and structure. Needing to be more grounded. They, they feel that you need more structure, maybe more discipline or more organization. I don't have a birthday coming up, I just heard. We have the judgment card trying to show up with what else? Strength card. Mm -hmm. This person could think you're part of their, like you could be their soulmate, um, twin flame, or um, soul, soul tribe, soul family. That's for some of you. They see you as very bold and fierce and mystical but something about you is mystical but yet frightening intense this person could think that you're intense yeah free but in like free loving and caring but intense and threatening when if you want it to be or when you want it to be Hmm. Yeah, I just heard that this person sees you as someone who's not afraid to go to war. Hmm. Yeah. They also see you as someone who's working to cleanse and heal. Like, maybe cleanse and purify the energy and heal. They, they, they see this in some kind of way. Like, maybe you're you're going through some type of change in your life. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a visual of like someone looking on social media. So this person, when they think of you, they think of you because maybe they're on your social media or they, they want to get to your social media, especially for some of you who um, your social media is private. This person may be trying to figure out how to how to get more info on you. That's interesting. Or how to also ask you something is what I'm hearing. Okay. How does this person think about them? Ten of Wands. This came out for the other option interesting they could see you as 
trying to balance out a home, you know, a home or a property or your space, like, or you could be trying to balance out some type of structure or business building. There's something that you've been trying to carry or, or work. Like they're saying that they think you need to kind of like it's similar to another option, but you kind of need to ask for help. Hmm. They think that you need more organization. It's going to help you. That's what I just heard. Okay, how does this person think of them? Ace of Pentacles, money. They may see you as someone who received a gift recently or who they they think they may want to give you a gift. That something's going to be offered to you. That you're, that financially, you're going to grow. So especially if you were dealing with any worries of finances, the reason I say this is because with the judgment card on top, it makes me think of a rebirth. But this is spiritual. I feel like, what's not spiritual but i feel like this is a higher realms kind of dropping their hand and giving you something it's like somehow you receive money this person thinks that you have it like that they think that okay this person's got some kind of divine magical god angel hookup ancestor hookup because i'm i'm hearing someone say like even when they're struggling or right? even when they're talking about finances. Something happens in their favor. Like something always works out for them. Yeah, so they think you're resourceful. And also divinely helped. Hmm. They think you, got, you just got it like that. That's what I just heard. Something intense about your eyes. They're thinking about your eyes. So they could be thinking about maybe a certain stare they felt you gave them last time they saw you. And nine of wands, they see you as resilient. You guys, that's his strength card earlier. That's a chariot. I don't know why I kept getting the strength card though. So this person sees you as strongly moving ahead, moving forward. They, they see you and think about you as someone who is, I mean, an, a, a resilient being. Like you don't quit. I just heard you're a slugger. You keep going after the things you want. You don't stop. Um, I just heard like P Diddy, but Pub Daddy, um, Bad Boy Records. Who gonna stop? Like, can no, can't nobody hold us down. Oh no, we gotta keep on moving. So that's a song. So you guys are saying, no matter what didn't work out or what you're having a trouble balancing or figuring out. You're not letting it stop you. You're not letting it dampen the mood. Some of you guys could even have gone through a separation or divorce from someone. Um, that's a random few of you. And this person thinks that you are overcoming obstacles with ease and grace. And that you're doing better than what you think you are. Yeah, they see you and think of you as this resilient, strong being who's standing strong but could also be quite tired. But they think you're going to have some type of success towards something. Something that you keep holding on closely to. Something that you're refusing to let go of. This person thinks at some point you're about to have a success. They think that success is coming close for you because of your strength and resilience. I just heard fortitude. I just heard your stamina. Your, your agility. Like you just keep moving forward and you're adaptable. Like, you've gone through different obstacles and you still keep flowing a around it. Like, you just keep standing strong. Yeah. Let's see. It's at the bottom. King of Pentacles. Why did I look like a short-haired Snoop Dogg? I'm not sure. Anyways. This person... They may think you're funny because it's making me think of the four wands. I just said something so silly. So this person may think you're funny or they want to laugh with you. They may want to take you to a comedy show. 
They want to get you to laugh, basically. Like, okay, we need to get this person out and laugh. Or maybe they think you make them laugh, so they want to spend time with you. So it's all positive here. King of Pentacles. This person may think that you are, if you aren't financially successful and independent right now, you will be because you never gave up. It's how this person will think of you because you're the Nine of Wands and the Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles and the Judgment card. It's like, no matter what you went through, you never stopped, you never quit it. So this person thinks of you as the King of Pentacles, a go-getter, financially stable, financially secure. You all that in a bag of chips. Okay, <laughs> that's what I just heard. Money's coming your way. That's they strongly feel that. Like it's gonna work out. That could also be a separate message for you for you that money is coming your way. Yeah. I just heard um recycle. Like there are things that you have that could that could definitely benefit someone else. I don't know why I got that, but that's an extra message for someone. Let's see what charms you have. We have the blue cat. We have the starfish. And we have the bicycle. And snowflake. And what is this? A couch. Interesting. This person could be could think that you're moving furniture. Or that you've been carrying a lot of heavy stuff. But this person may just want to chill and speak with you. This person just wants to sit down and talk with you. They want to go bike riding with you for some of you. Like I just heard movie night. That's for someone like they may want to have a movie night. So that could be family, friends, or romantic. You know, it could be platonic or romantic. They may want to go bike riding. They could want to go to an animal shelter. Like, there's something about hanging out together, spending time together, renewing some type of connection. It could even be that this person is thinking that they want to renew your friendship or, or connection, whether it's family, friends, or... Um, or romantic because I, I I'm kind of getting just this renewal like maybe you had time apart or maybe something happened and now it's like okay let's renew our our, our bond our connection our friendship let's come together again so I'm kind of getting that energy for some of you let's see what else we have an owl wisdom yeah there's some type of divine wisdom that's coming through I just heard the leaf doesn't fall too far from the tree. I am definitely getting that um, you guys have some type of message that's going to come through. Um, for some of you, this could also be a connection to Archangel Gabriel. You may feel called to a different option. We have a turtle. Yep, you definitely could have felt to called to go to a different option. So you might want to look up owls and, and turtles. -y. Both represent wisdom. So, I don't know why I just heard grandma's couch, grandma's days. Hmm, interesting. Yep, that came out in all three options. Angels. That's an angel wing. And look, this card came out in another option. The wing, the feathers. You guys might start seeing feathers. There's an angel. When you start seeing those feathers, I'm telling you, it's a sign from your angels. It's a it's a sign from this this being that's watching over you, which is definitely an archangel. Yeah, I'm her. I just heard. Um, oh my god, I cut the deck, and the strength card is here. So I was right. We have the strength card and the chariot. Which one's really king? Maybe they're both king. King of the jungle, king of the rainforest, right? Are tigers in the rainforest? I don't know. King of pentacles is like, bring your strengths together. This person may want to, they're thinking about bringing their power and your power together. 
like your strengths and powers together. They may see you as someone who is going to meet their counterpart or is wanting to get married or trying to trying to figure out how to move forward with the process of the reception or wedding. Um, and maybe you're going through stress because of the wedding planning. That's for someone out there. Yeah, this person could think that you're stressed from planning something on your own. It's supposed to be fun, but that it will be successful and abundant. All right, so get ready to ask a question, a yes or no question. I'm going to handle that after we get a number. You have four. Perfect, you have four. Let's see. Hope you took time to ask that question. I'm going to spin it and we're going to see what you're going to get. Whoa. You have a yes. Yes. So the answer to your question is yes. Just focus on grounding and rooting and st stable, stabilizing your energy in nature. This person feels like you need to slow down and ground yourself and connect to nature and your roots. I just heard everyone and everything is an investment. So that's what I have for you guys. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading like this, email me at mysticalmermaidlight at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your support and kindness. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.